Hello, this is Pete from Electric Bike Report, and today I have the eVelo Luna electric bike in for uh, testing and review. Uh, this is just a preview, give you an idea of what the bike is like. Uh, I'll have a full report coming to you soon at uh, Electric Bike Report, but uh, for right now, let's just take this thing for a spin and uh, see how it goes uphill here. So uh, we'll be heading uh, right up there. Nah, just kidding. But uh, this, uh, this is a little preview of some of the scenery here in Sedona, Arizona. And uh, here's the controls of the bike. This is the Shimano uh, Nexus three-speed shifter here. Also comes with a cycle computer. And then uh, over on this side here, I've got the display for the bike. It gives you the on-off switch, um, the battery indicator, uh, the pedal assist setting. And there's also the throttle for the bike too. But right now I'm just using the pedal assist and uh, you can see that we're, we're climbing up this hill and uh, a little more of the scenery here in, in Sedona. And uh, you can see uh, the big hill there. And then we'll be rounding this corner and uh, climbing up to the very top where I'll give you some more, more info on this bike and uh, what it's all about. So um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice just commuter style electric bike good for getting around town and such so a couple more views of Sedona here for you and uh, let's see what this thing's all about all right so again here's the shot of the eVelo Luna the whole bike you can see it has the step through aluminum frame there and then uh, it also has the uh, 250 watt mid-drive motor here which is uh, something fairly unique you know a lot of bikes come with front and or front or rear drive uh, hub motors and uh, so this is the 250 watt motor and then this is the gearbox that the motor powers through into the uh, cranks or the uh, chain ring of the bike and then powers back to the um, Shimano uh, three-speed Nexus internally geared hub back there so uh, this also has the little pet, uh, sensor here that can tell when you're pedaling and provides assistance you also have the option of just using the uh, throttle here. So um, just a closer view of this uh, display. Here's your on off for the, the main bike. Here's your light on off switch. Uh, and then here's your battery level indicator. And then here's your pedal assist. You've got low, medium and high. So uh, pretty uh, complete display there. Then uh, again, that's the gear shifter and the cycle computer. And then uh, on the front here, we've got the uh, SR Centaur suspension fork. It takes a little bit of the edge off of rough roads. There's the LED front light, uh, the Tektro uh, V brakes on the front, and then uh, fenders come front and rear, uh, already equipped on the bike. Here's the tires. They're pretty interesting. They've kind of got this uh, uh, smooth tread on the top and some knobby uh, tread on the side, so it's good for you know if you do some off-road riding. And then uh, on the back here, we've got the uh, 36 volt, uh, 10 amp hour lithium ion battery pack. And uh, again, here's the uh, 36 volt, uh, or no, sorry, the uh, three speed uh, internally geared Shimano Nexus hub. And there's the roller brake on the back. Um, coming up here, we've got the uh, LED light. And again, those lights are powered through the battery pack uh, of the bicycle. And then another view of that internally geared hub. So anyways, there's just sort of a preview of uh, what this bike is all about. I'll have the full review coming to you soon at electricbikereport.com.